609, avian influenza, also known as bird flu, is a viral infection that spreads amongst birds, cows, and other animals, according to the CDC. But it's not only animals that can contract the disease. Researchers say some people can too. As part of our Ask the Experts series, 7 News anchor Kelsey O'Donnell spoke with a health expert from Bon Secours about the signs and symptoms. It's primarily transmitted birds to birds, but um, in recent cases, there has been uh, transmission through uh, to human and to animals as well. Bon Secours nurse practitioner Amanda Leonard is breaking down the signs and symptoms of avian influenza, also known as bird flu. While health experts say it's primarily spread among wild and domesticated bird populations, Leonard says some other animals, even people, can be exposed and the symptoms are commonly associated with the flu. Since the bird flu is in the family of influenza A, you're going to have similar symptoms to influenza. Um, so you're going to have a cough, congestion, uh, runny nose, fever, sore throat, um, body aches, fatigue. Um, sometimes you can get some conjunctivitis, which is just an eye infection, um, as well as some shortness of breath. While uncommon among humans, Leonard says those who work directly with poultry, waterfowl, and cows are most at risk. You would have to be in close contact with the infected poultry, um, either through their nasal secretions, their saliva, or feces. Symptoms usually develop about two to 10 days after exposure of the infected bird. Since March of last year, experts from the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention say more than 15,000 people were exposed to infected animals and less than 70 human cases were confirmed. Unfortunately, there's no test for bird flu. However, um, since it's in the family of influenza A, you can always get tested for influenza A and your test will be positive. And that's why Leonard says it's important to know the signs, symptoms and practice living a healthy lifestyle. Currently, there is no vaccine. Um, so the best way to prevent this is um, proper hand washing um, and just staying away from uh, infected birds and poultry. If you do get infected, there is an antiviral, Tamiflu, which helps with the symptoms and decrease the risk of pneumonia as well as hospitalization. Doctors say those with weaker immune systems, chronic health conditions, as well as pregnant women are more at risk of developing the illness if they're exposed. For this week's Ask the Expert, I'm Kelsey O'Donnell. If you have questions, concerns, or think you might have been exposed to bird flu, be sure to contact your primary care physician. Remember, you can submit a health topic for our Ask the Expert series. Head to our website, click the News tab, then Ask the Expert.